Hello, you are listening to Shetan Verma. Let's start the day with top news highlights. The Delhi government declared coronavirus in epidemic and announced that all cinema halls, schools and colleges will remain shut in the national capital till March 31st. In a tweet, the Prime Minister Narendra Modi stated that none of his ministers will travel abroad in the upcoming days and urged people to avoid non-essential travel. Tamil Nadu has put on hold the updated national population register exercise in the state after revenue minister Udaya Kumar said the center has not given a clarification on the queries raised by chief minister EK Palani Swami on the newly added questions in the NPR form. The BJP has named Indu Bala Goswami, a former president of the party state unit Mahila Morcha, as its Rajya Sabha candidate from Himachal Pradesh. She will file her nomination papers on March 13. More than rupees 1,900 crore belonging to the Himachal Pradesh government and the public is stuck in the crisis hit Yes Bank. Chief Minister Jay Ram Thakur informed the Vidhan Sabha. The money includes rupees 970 crore of two state cooperative banks. The Economic Offences Wing of the Mumbai Police, which is investigating alleged scam at the Punjab and Maharashtra Cooperative Bank, arrested three persons, including a former director and official said. Iran has asked the International Monetary Fund for emergency funding to fight. to help it fight the coronavirus outbreak that has hit the islamic republic hard foreign minister mohammad javed zarif said president ronald trump has announced he is suspending all travel from europe excluding the uk to the us for the next 30 days to stop the spread of novel coronavirus that has claimed 37 lives and infected 1300 in the country Myanmar's parliament rejected a proposal constitutional amendment that would have allowed the country's de facto leader Hwang San Suu Kyi to officially become president. Indian badminton star Saina Nehwal's chances of qualifying for the Olympics took a hit after she made a first round exit from the All England Championships following a loss to Japanese Nemesis Akane Yamaguchi. That's all for the day. Keep listening to news catch up and subscribe for more.